Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W36D of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. And this video is one of a set of videos about clocks. Um, I'm absolutely fascinated with clocks in Minecraft, uh, probably because there's so many different ways in which to make them. Um, this video is going to be about one of my favorite clocks. Um, it's a 30 second clock that allows me to pull off signal uh, in different increments of the clock. Um, uh, but I do plan on uh, producing a couple of other videos uh, at least. One will, uh, the next one I think will be a video of a pseudo clock. It's a clock with a period that's approximately a few seconds, uh, uh, although that's expandable. And uh, I'll, I'll be doing at least one more video, uh, which is a one minute clock. Uh, it's kind of a novel design. So, uh, but this video is kind of about a, a kind of a standard clock here. Um, and uh, I'm, so I'm going to start with a, a just a regular old torch repeater loop. Okay, there we go. Um, this uh, clock uh, has a period of 1.4 seconds, so 14 redstone, tick, uh, redstone ticks, that's um, seven ticks on and seven ticks off. Uh, but if I increase the delay on all of these repeaters to four ticks, this clock becomes a, two point, uh, a five second clock, uh, 50 redstone ticks, we've got to, uh, 25 redstone ticks on, 25 redstone ticks off. So uh, this is a, a nice little uh, five second clock um, uh, and five seconds is nice, uh, but I, I use this clock for things that require longer periods. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to feed the signal from this basic old torch repeater loop into another torch repeater loop. I'm going to set down another torch repeater loop that looked exactly like the first one that I made, just two blocks away. Okay, now this one is uh, running at uh, at 14 redstone ticks, a uh, period of 14 redstone ticks. It's because the delay on all these repeaters is just one tick. Um, but what I want to do is I want to take the signal from this clock and feed it into this clock uh, to make this clock uh, go more slowly. And the way in which I do that is I use uh, locking repeaters. So I'm placing repeaters into the side of these three repeaters here. And I'm going to put all of these repeaters on two ticks. And then I'm going to feed the signal from this clock into these repeaters here. So just like that. Uh, and now what happens when this redstone torch is on and is uh, feeding a signal to this redstone wire, these repeaters turn on and they lock all of these uh, all of these repeaters here so they're they're basically the the clock is frozen while these repeaters are powered uh, and if i instead of having this be uh, two and a half seconds on and two and a half seconds off if i add a an off pulse limiter uh, to uh, to the signal that's coming off of this uh, torch repeater loop here so that this is unpowered for only one redstone tick this clock will only be able to advance a little bit rather than uh, you see it advances a lot before it gets frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that uh, off pulse limiter over here. So this, uh, this repeater has to be on three ticks and I wanna feed the signal from this repeater uh, into this redstone wire here. And now uh, we'll see when uh, this block gets powered uh, this redstone wire will go uh, will be unpowered for just one redstone tick, and that allows this clock to advance. Uh, this clock over here, this uh, torch repeater loop, to advance only a little bit. Effectively, what has happened is this torch repeater loop has been turned into a state machine with six states. Uh, so we've got a five-second clock over here that's feeding a, a, a signal into this clock over here, uh, basically uh, six states. So we've got five seconds times six states. So this is now a 30 second clock. Uh, and you can pull a signal off of this clock from this block here, or this redstone wire, or this redstone torch, a few different places. Um, but what makes this clock uh, more versatile is that I can actually take signal from any of the uh, any of the incremental five second uh, um, five second increments uh, and, and basically any of the states 
uh, of this clock over here. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that, I, I'm going to spread out these repeaters a bit. So I, I need to uh, destroy a little bit of this clock uh, in order to uh, spread it out. Let me put those back. And I'm going to um, uh, fill the gaps uh, with blocks. So basically I just uh, added a gap in between uh, the different, re uh, different uh, lines of repeaters here. And I'm going to fill the spaces with blocks. There we go. Uh, now we have exactly the same uh, same state machine that we did before. I've just created some gaps in between the repeaters. Uh, and I can take the signal off of the repeaters here uh, by putting a dot of redstone on top of uh, these blocks here. Uh, and now uh, of the uh, six different states, I, I can pull a signal out of uh, off of any one of the six different states. Now it's a little bit difficult to get the signal out um, because there's just a lot of stuff going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to shift it over one block over that direction. So uh, let me start by uh, replacing the redstone torch on this side over here. And now I'm going to take all of these blocks here. I'm just going to move them down by one. There we go. And uh, complete the circuit here. There we go. So um, that again is the same clock. I've just uh, shifted um, this line over by one. That makes it easier for me to get the signal from uh, these dots of redstone. Uh, and I'm going to do that by placing a block on top of all of the repeaters over here. So I can get that by putting a block right on top. And now these dots of redstone are going to weakly power these blocks. And I can get that signal by redstone torches or repeaters or whatever. Uh, so now when this uh, dot is on, this redstone torch is off, uh, and uh, likewise for these other pairs over here. So I can get the signal uh, from any of these uh, torches, uh, just uh, putting putting down redstone or, or whatever. So uh, and uh, that is uh, that is how you can get the signal out of any of the different states of this particular state machine. Uh, so it's not just a 30 second clock; uh, it's a 30 second clock uh, with uh, potentially six different signals at five second increments. Um, and so I, re I really like this clock. Um, it's pretty versatile. You can actually feed um, uh, the signal here or any of the signals over here into other uh, clock multipliers, uh, which you can use to make really long period clocks. Uh, now there are other um, uh, probably better possibilities for long period clocks uh, in in Minecraft. Um, you know the the classic Ethonian clocks. Uh, however, if you are low on quartz or you haven't been to the Nether yet. Uh, you can't make those because they require comparators. So uh, this is uh, this is something that can be made uh, completely out of uh, renewable materials. Uh, so like I said, if you're just low on quartz or you haven't been to the nether yet, you can still make long period clocks. Uh, I think that is it then for this video. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note. Uh, please leave a note in the comments. And uh, thank you very much for watching.